First Alert Storm Center updates. Well, look in our surface map, you can see we do have a cold front in view. It's off to our north here across northern Arkansas. That is going to be pushing south into the area tonight. You probably won't notice too much of a difference, although with how warm we were able to get today, uh, it will feel quite a bit cooler tomorrow, but we'll still be in the 60s overall. But out ahead of that, we do have clear conditions. Winds have turned to the west. So for tonight, uh, we're looking at mostly low to mid 40s, a little above average, and it's going to be a pleasant evening. So if you can get out and enjoy this nice dry weather, temperature should be fairly comfortable and then tomorrow uh, while we made it into the mid and even upper 70s today we're looking mostly at mid and upper 60s tomorrow so uh, several degrees cooler than today thanks to that cold front that'll be passing through still above average though and we're gonna have a lot of above average days here this week look at our dew point comfort index dew point staying low mostly through Wednesday and Thursday we do see those winds shift to the south by Thursday so we'll see a slight increase in moisture and that'll help fuel some of that rain that we're expecting here on Saturday, but looking at that temperature trend through the first week of February, it looks like we'll still be leaning uh, possibly towards above average temperatures, not necessarily a lot, but uh, kind of how we have been lately on most days, which is uh, in the mid and upper 60s. Now we are leaning drier here uh, through the beginning of February as well. So we'll see how things play out, but looking at that temperature trend again in the next 10 days, saying uh, temperatures mostly in the 60s for those highs, could have a few 70 degree days mixed in there, and then temperatures not too chilly overall. We're staying cool, but uh, mostly in the 40s and 50s for those lows over uh, the next week to week and a half. We do have this upper level ridging out west. That's actually bringing some record high temperatures out that way. Uh, but this trough slides in by the weekend, and then we'll see that still spinning overhead on Sunday. And then that drier air will finally start to slide in here on Monday. So that'll bring us, unfortunately, a chance for weekend rain, which we could continue uh, this nice weather we're having now all the way through the weekend. That would be great. But it looks like Saturday we're going to have mostly one to two inches of rainfall across much of the area. It will be a pretty quick moving system, but it does look like it'll fall mostly during the daytime hours uh, of Saturday into Saturday night. And then we may have some showers linger with that upper low overhead on Sunday as well as some cloud cover. And then we'll be back to the dry conditions as the work week starts. So looking at future cast for tonight, we do see mostly clear conditions. Lots of sunshine here through the day on Wednesday. Really our only uh, uh, main difference at behind this front is this wind shifting to the north and then we'll again be slightly cooler tomorrow a little bit of an increase in some of that high cloud cover on Thursday and then going into Friday we'll see an increase in clouds mostly by the evening hours should have plenty of sunshine mixed in there as well so planning it for your Wednesday sunny skies here winds out of the northeast at about 5 to 10 miles per hour through the morning we are starting out in the 40s with temperatures into the low to mid 60s there through the afternoon hours so it's going to be another nice day not quite as warm as today uh, but uh, pretty nice nonetheless into Thursday we are looking at a cooler start there with uh, some upper 30s to low 40s for Thursday morning highs in the 60s again we will be into the low 70s here on Friday to finish out the week and then expecting those showers and storms on Saturday a few lingering showers into Sunday as well and then we'll see drier conditions here uh, by next week